Hello everybody, welcome back to EO4, Panos Gamer playing One Faith. A couple of interesting things. Uh, Kandash, truce with Kandash expires in March. So I have ordered one army back, so as soon as the truce expires I will eliminate Kandash from the game. Also, France is fighting Spain, Bohemia and Muscovy. I'm pretty sure France is gonna win that war. And when they do... There's a big chance that Muscovy will have their alliance cancelled with uh, Spain. And if that is the case, I'm gonna probably attack them after Ming. But let's concentrate on Ming. They have all their troops in the north, which is still a considerable amount. Uh, yeah, so let's watch that. Siege of Ava is over, that's down here. That means we can go nuts on his things down here. Let's see, they got negative 28. This one is 7. Shangmai is only 2 fort. Let's go strike. Oh, I can't go there. Oh, we blocked by the other, the other one. Alright, gotta wait for the other one to fall then. Back up north, let's see what we can uh, make of it. They are simply heading east. Are they fighting somebody else now? No, but they might be fighting rebels. Yep, we see them. Ming particular is all over the place. That's gonna occupy the Ming armies for a while. These guys are going in there. Alright, let's go and siege up that fort there then. Oh yeah, this this stack is getting too big. I'm gonna release those guys. Okay, they're just walking right... Oh, that's a three stack. That doesn't matter. But they are reinforcing. Ningxia, yes they are. So, so am I. These guys might want to join fast. Let's do that. Let's see, arriving on the 16th and the 21st. That's only a few days later, that's fine. Oh, but they got more incoming. Alright, drop what you have and move through here. Cannot afford to lose this battle. Siege of Saga Ing is over. That opens up for Chiang Mai. And. Oh, that's too far from each other. Mm, I don't like that. Start with that one then. Right, back to this one. That's a big battle, and I'm getting more reinforcements in there. That's enough to win it. Probably heavy losses on both sides is what I'm expecting. Yeah. But look at that, 20,000 cannons. <laughs> 20,000 cannons gone. That's gotta hurt. That's 40%. Still not enough to get the ticking. For some strange reason. Let's, let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Eight. I've won eight out of eleven, so it act it's actually true. I need to win one more battle, maybe two, to get the ticking war score. Alright, we sent them on the way again. Um, okay, come back with these guys to Alaxa. 
these guys will forget the boot and move back here and then these guys will also forget the boot and come down here or is that stupid? now they have to go around um, come down here then back south no opposition right now we are sieging out Chiang Mai and we're getting ready to beat up Kandesh as soon as the truce expires in a few days actually I see the main army now down to 90,000 no main power that's what I like to see So they got plus one stability. Alright, so choose expire with the Paladinate, Crimea, and Kandesh. And we're gonna attack Kandesh straight off. Who are they allied to? Delhi and Malva. Huh. Okay, then I'm not gonna attack them straight off. I'm gonna attack Malva instead. And they will expire in a few more months in August ah, so we're gonna wait until August then so there's no need to drag Delhi into that one um, because we got all our armies engaged in China so lose China army tradition or gain some corruption what is my army tradition anyway it's 72, it's pretty pretty good. Corruption is expensive. But I guess I can afford it for a short while. Let's gain 0.5 corruption. Oh really? That's 90 ducats? <laughs> ah, okay, I didn't realize it's gonna be that much. 0.5 corruption is 90 ducats. I guess I can slide it a little bit. Let's take it down a half, so that's 40. That's that's a bit more. It's still gonna go down. Okay. Hisi Path has been occupied. Let's come down to Mongnai. So our manpower is gone. That means if we have regular infantry that needs to, yeah, like these guys, we need to consolidate those. So the way to do that the fastest is to detach the mercs, go back in. That was the other one. Then detach the infantry, merge, consolidate those, and merge them all up again. A bit uh, tricky, but okay. Same could be done over here. No, there's no no infantry that needs merging. Reputation sabotaged by the Commonwealth. Encroachment of the Umara. Influence increased by 22. Or 17 nobles in Sham. What is the Umara influence right now? Just to check. Umara influence is 42, so that's going to be pretty high. That's going to go up to 64. 17 nobles in. Sham. That's down here somewhere. Where is Sham? Oh, no. <laughs> Not interested in that. By the way, Malabar slipped up past 51 mark again. 
Alright, let's just let it slide. We got Jane's show. This is level two. Could go and occupy that one, but uh, I feel like it's going to come down with a lot of troops in a, in a second. Mong Nai has been fallen, has fallen. Go to Mong Rai, Mong Pai, whatever. So Malabar is still sieging, are they? Yes, I think they will finish the siege before they leave the scene. Maybe they just need to be placated. Yeah, let's placate them. Get them back uh, under our wings. We got Lancho. Uh, so we should go to Taojo, which is level 2 for. Now they want peace. So the war exhaustion is 3.8. Still got one stability. And we're still not getting the ticking. We need to win another battle. I'm gonna go for that. Win another battle, get the ticking going, and that should end the uh, war sooner. But that means we need to have somebody to fight. Right now they just um, they ran away. They ran off to fight some rebels. Conversion done. How many left? We got one going, and then one is unable. Mong Pai has been sieged. Go to King Tong. This one is 21%. I'm losing a lot of money because of the um, corruption right now. These guys are moving through, they're moving south. We do have rebels in this area, so they might go for that. This one is 35, it's gonna fall very soon. Once Chiang Mai falls, I can. Uh, stay together with my troops. That was the conversion. Troops expire with Malva. I think we need to attack them straight away. Unless they allied with somebody else, they did not. So attack Malva, they will drag in Kandesh. And do I need a general here? They do have a four star. Um, pff, I can't really afford it. Let's just take out the Rami. And of course that means I'm out of manpower for once. And that means that this 16 stack will run loose for a while. It might go for Kandesh, the, the province there. No, they're headed for Chitor, I think. Kandesh army is gone. Yeah, they're heading for Chitor. And this is only a level 1. Now, let's just send a couple of guys up here to finish off that one. That takes care of Kandesh. Still no sign of the rest of the Mings. King Tong has fallen. Let's just stay there for a while. There's another army coming down, so they're sending everything down here. 
I might not have enough troops for that. I might also just be going for the rebels and the Malabar army. Got that occupied. So they have level 3 in Mandu. And that's it. Just send these guys over here. Start teaching up that. We're actually gaining a little bit of manpower now. Siege of Shang Mai is over. That's very important. Because that means we can get these guys up here. They can stick together. Forms a 50 stack. Still no sign of the Chinese up here. So that means we could go and be a little bit more aggressive. Let's go up there. With one, with, uh, one of the stacks. Ningxia has fallen. Okay. Uh, that takes us to 44. Still got no ticking. We need a battle for that. We can go up here. Now we can go in here. Now there's the Chinese. They're heading up that way. Can I catch them here? Uh, November 15th. November 6th, November 10th, what if I put the boot on? No, November 7th. And they're headed in there. Let's see if we can catch this lone army. November 15th, ooh, they're actually gonna get out first. Oh, that sucks. 15th, 15th. Hmm. So where are they going? Naga. Uh, they got this big one coming. And they're headed to Lil Jiang. They're headed back. Alright, they're coming back up north. That's good. That means I can take care of this army on my own. Yep. Choose expire with air. So let's get that wall started as well. Um, how many troops does air have? I don't know. I got a twenty-nine stack. That should be plenty. So declare war. Confirm. And then take out these guys first. Alright, back to Ming. See, if I win this battle right here now, I'm pretty sure I will get the taking war score. Now they turn back, it's too late. Battle of the Lull. Why am I not teaching that? It's a protectorate of air. Okay. I'm not actually fighting these guys. So they got no forts. They got fort 2. Is that it? Um, okay, so I just gotta find their army. Let's move up this way. Back to Ming. Gotta win this battle. And that's gonna set the ticking walls go going. No. I need one more. Okay. So his big army was marching back here. 
Um, Malabar is heading into China. Okay, so let's send these guys back here. Just keep an eye on it. This one here is plus 49. It's going to fall in any second now. And we are sieging out stuff in the north of Ming. Well, I think I'll put a break in here. In the next episode, I think we'll finish the war with Ming because we were going to get the ticking wall score going. And we got so much land covered now. So we can end that war. And then we got the Malibu War and the Air War as well to worry about. So thank you so much for watching everybody. I will see you in the next one. Take care.